Industries Ministries, and ferocious feline productions. I truly hope you're enjoying the 31 days of Halloween on Living Histories Mysteries. There's only five days remaining in the month of October, and I wanted to bring you one of the greatest stories of our haunted history. In southern New Jersey in the Philadelphia area, there lives a creature known as the Jersey Devil, or in old tales, the Leeds Devil. It's said to inhabit the forests of the Pine Barrens in southern New Jersey. The creature is often described as a flying biped with hooves, but there are many variations. The common description is that of a bipedal kangaroo or wyvern-like creature with a horse or a goat-like head. It's said to be the thirteenth child of an old witch, Mother Leeds. Now the story of Mother Leeds is, as she laid in labor, she talked about how devilish this child was. And upon its birth, it was normal but slowly changed into the creature that people know today. Chills run down your spine. Follow the cold shiver running down your spine. You break into a cold sweat. My palms sweat. Your heart begins to pound. And my heart speaks up. You are afraid. Feels a very human chill crawl up his spine. In New Jersey, there is a 25,000 acre woods known as the Pine Barrens. Go to the Pine Barrens, see what you find, and bring it back here. is officially listed as uninhabited. Some people believe otherwise. The Pine Barrens, a vast wooded area of New Jersey that's supposedly home to a vicious, bloodthirsty creature. Whether the Jersey Devil is fact or fiction, the mere possibility that it might exist is what makes the Pine Barrens a very scary place. The Pine Barrens of New Jersey have long been shrouded in tales of paranormal activity, captivating the imagination with stories of eerie encounters and unexplained phenomena. One of the most famous legends revolves around the enigmatic figure of the Jersey Devil, said to haunt the dense woods and desolate marshes of this vast wilderness. Described as a winged creature with hooves and a forked tail, the Jersey Devil is believed by some to be the cursed offspring of a 17th century witch named Mother Leeds. Mrs. Leeds in human form. Condemned to roam the barrens for eternity. Mrs. Leeds, reborn. Aside from the Jersey Devil, the Pine Barrens are also reputed to be home to other supernatural entities and occurrences. Local lore speaks of ghostly apparitions wandering the lonely roads and abandoned villages scattered throughout the region. Phantom lights, known as ghost lights or spook lights, are said to flicker mysteriously in the darkness, leading travelers astray and defying rational explanation. Furthermore, reports of inexplicable sounds such as blood-curdling screams or unsettling whispers permeate the eerie silence of the Pine Barrens. Some visitors claim to have encountered strange creatures or witnessed bizarre phenomena, fueling speculation about the presence of otherworldly forces at play in this remote and atmospheric wilderness. Emilio Carranza, a Mexican aviator, embarked on a global journey in pursuit of peace. He traveled from New York City to Mexico City, his itinerary included stops at various American cities. However, a ferocious storm halted his plans and caused a delay. Despite the risks, he resolved to proceed. 
Tragically, his flight ended with a fatal crash in the Pine Barrens. In those final moments, Carranza relied solely on a flashlight to navigate the stormy skies. Legend has it that flashing car lights at his memorial evokes the haunting sound of his plane and the sight of Carranza's last beacon before the crash. I wasn't hunting. It, it was hunting me. I was like this big shadow, kind of like wings, but I felt the, the breeze. I've heard some noises that I can't explain. We just caught a glimpse of it and we stopped right there and just looked at each other. By the time we looked back, it wasn't there anymore. Locals say a hideous winged creature has lurked in these woods for over 250 years. The devil. I was expecting to get my head ripped off. It, 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 was, it was quiet after that. And I turned around and I didn't see anything. And it, it let me go. It let me go. The grandeur of Batstow Mansion reigns supreme as the largest edifice in Batstow Village. It boasts an impressive array of 32 rooms. This architectural marvel stands as a testament to the village's prosperous iron industry. Originally constructed circa 1785, the mansion underwent a meticulous renovation in the 19th century that was orchestrated by businessman Joseph Wharton. Today, its doors open to welcome the curious public to offer a glimpse into its storied past. Yet, even when closed, whispers abound of spectral sightings, a mysterious sentinel figure standing in the mansion's highest window. Paranormal activity surrounding Batstow Mansion have been a subject of local lore and intrigue for centuries. Witnesses have claimed to observe eerie phenomena such as unexplained cold spots, inexplicable sounds echoing through its corridors, and fleeting glimpses of apparitions drifting through the shadows. Some visitors have reported sensations of being watched, or a feeling of unease descending upon them while exploring the mansion's dimly lit rooms. Additionally, tales persist of encounters with a spectral figure sighted standing in the highest window of the mansion, even during times when the building is closed to the public. It is said that the Jersey Devil was the 13th child of a woman known as Mother Leeds. Her one remaining descendant still lives near the Pine Barrens. The Jersey Devil Hunters are determined to track it down. I made the website about a year ago. This is what's new to the website. Sightings from 1909 to now. This list is huge. Yeah, this one came to us just the other day. His name is Mike. He's 27. And he heard and saw something. There were six witnesses to it. It was about 50 yards away when it jumped over the stream and started running. It wasn't running toward us, but I was scared nonetheless. It all happened in a matter of two minutes, but I can say this. I no longer live in New Jersey, and I don't go camping without a gun. Do you know one, Jack? These are all of uh, all the systems we use um, in the event that we would happen to encounter the Jersey Devil. Tonight, the objective is to prove or disprove the existence of the Jersey Devil. The Pine Barrens are amazingly frightening. There have been several nights where all of us have been scared out of our wits. You walk in and you get an eerie feeling of just being watched. And this thing that was up following us in the tree just kept on creaking and making sounds. And we were, I was pretty frightened. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm pretty sure they were frightened too. The devil? The devil. The Blue Hole reigns as one of the Jersey Devil's favorite haunts. The tranquil lake mass sinister secrets beneath its surface. To the unsuspecting eye, it looks like an idyllic spot. Yet beneath the sandy shores lies the treacherous terrain of sugar sand. This conceals the potential peril of quicksand. Whispers also abound of the lake's unfathomable depths, rumored to be bottomless and harboring a mysterious force that ensnares unwary swimmers in its watery embrace. While some attribute these incidents to underwater currents, locals attribute them to the enigmatic presence of the Jersey Devil. Tragically, over the passage of years, the Blue Hole has become a somber repository for those who have succumbed to its deceptive allure, their lives lost to its murky depths. In addition to the ominous tales surrounding drowning incidents and the purported presence of the Jersey Devil, the Blue Hole is steeped in whispers of other paranormal phenomena. Visitors have reported experiencing inexplicable sensations of being watched, or an eerie feeling of being unwelcome as they approach the lake's edge. Some have witnessed strange lights dance upon the water's surface, 
while others claim to have heard disembodied voices or whispers emanating from the surrounding woods. Accounts of objects mysteriously disappearing or reappearing in different locations have also fueled speculation about supernatural forces at play. Well, we've never met Harry Leeds, and hopefully he's going to show us the same exact spot that we think is the house where the Jersey Devil was born. Time check, time. About 7.30, 7.40. Time's approximately 7.40 p.m. If there's anything that I can help these young folks with, or discover where the Jersey Devil is, or any information that I can give them, I'll be willing to do it. Harry Leeds guided the group to the dilapidated remains of an old homestead. This here is the original site where the Jersey Devil was born. This is incredible. As you can see, the roof has caved in. This is something I've been looking for since I was like seven years old. There's no name for the 13th child because Mrs. Lee said, if I have a child and it's not a healthy baby, I wish it to be a devil. Remember, stay close together. You gonna come here, look? What do we got? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Look at this. What the hell is this? One, two, three, four, a palm. That must be like a thumb. Oh, what's that? Like that. Okay, what we found now are two very strange large tracks. The devil hunters found the remains of an animal carcass. Is that a grip attached to it? That's a pelvis. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a shoulder bone. Where's the shoulder? Right there. Whatever it is, it's getting closer. Keep telling you that. Yeah, it is getting closer. It looks like a big eyeball. Hold still.
According to legend, this was the 13th child, a motherlings, an old witch in the Pine Barrens. She said, all in labor that this child had been a devil upon her body. And when the child was born, it was born as a normal child, but then slowly changed let out a blood-cuddling scream and threw up the chimney. And for over 200 years, people have reported seeing and hearing and feeling the Leeds Devil in the Pine Barren area of New Jersey. What do you believe? Be prepared for anything.